Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here and welcome to BMTV. This week on BMTV we are joined by a first time guest. Yes, it is the bow tie balloon guy, which is very hard to say, Mr. Rob Driscoll. Rob, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for inviting me. It's, it's really nice because I've, I've met you a couple of times, ballooning marvellous and then at training yep. just yesterday in fact. Yep. And it, it's really nice that you're coming down and, and doing this because I think we, we talked about it earlier, twisting, decorating, never yeah. the twain shall meet is, is yeah. <laughs> normally uh, how, how it happens. Um, but we want to talk to you today. I want to find out a little bit more about you okay. and how you got into the industry, how long you've been in the industry yep. and why you wear bow ties. Um, and then later on, you're going to show us how to, how to create this little, this little treat. So to start with, it's like an interview question, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Tell, tell, Rob, tell me a little <laughs> bit about you. So, uh, as you say, I'm the bow tie balloon guy. Uh, I've been uh, entertaining. My my my, uh, uh, my thing with balloons is I, I use them as an, as an entertainment. Okay. Uh, I'm actually a magician. Uh, I've been performing for uh, 26 years. And uh, the balloons were always something that I would do alongside the magic. And they still are, really. Yeah. Uh, but they've, gr they've grown and grown. And... Uh, and yeah, so it's a, it's mainly as an entertainment point of view. So how did you? Reason. So you were a magician already twenty six yes. years ago. Yes. That's what you were doing. That's what I I started off doing twenty six years ago. Yeah. Okay. And then yeah. how long after that was it that the balloons came uh, along? It wasn't long. Uh, I I remember someone, uh, another magician, gave me a bag of balloons one day, and uh, and that was kind of like the start of it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I just slowly introduced them into into my act, yeah. and uh, started making balloons for 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 kids and things and. And that's how it developed, really. Because I think it's fair to say you're quite well known now for, for the balloons that you do within okay. our industry. So yeah. it, it, it's actually a, 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 almost a secondary thing for me. The, yeah. ma the magic is my, is my job. Yeah. And the balloons are, are very much a secondary thing. Yeah. But, yeah. But, I, great, I, but I love the balloons. It's, you know, it's, it's a, it's so how did you get into the magic in the first place? Did uh, you always want to be a magician? No, no. Uh, my, my mum, for my 18th birthday, bought me magic lessons. OK. And, uh, and I went along to this this course, this evening class, and learnt some very basic magic. But it was good; it was great. And yeah. uh, I ended up joining the magic circle in Portsmouth, and and it, that was it. That was the start of it. And slowly, I did more and more. And so, what is it you particularly like about magic? I think it's one of those things that you see. I mean, I've I've bought magic tricks before. Yeah and you, you see them demonstrating them in, in Hamleys, I think it was, mm, yeah. and you think, wow, that looks so fantastic, and you buy it, and yeah. then you get home, and they're really hard, and you've got to yeah. spend a lot of time to actually perfect it. It is very much a, 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 a practice, practice, practice thing. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's, when I do a, a magic show for, for kids, it's, it's the look on their faces and the, the, the smiles, and basically I'm making people happy. Well, yeah. I, I hope I am, anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and to see, see at the end of a party all these smiling faces and they've all got their balloon and they've all had a good time and you know that's like oh yeah that's that's good yeah. like, that's, it makes me happy to see other people happy i don't think it's just I kids i think it's, 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 it's everybody <laughs> i think everybody loves magic yeah. I, I love magic i remember one time I used to work on cruise ships as we talked about earlier and there's a magician on there and he was yeah. he was brilliant loved watching his show and then i was a bartender working in the uh, disco at the time and um, he was there, he was down there having a few drinks and whatever, and he started doing tricks on people. And then after everybody had left, he showed me how to do a trick. I was so disappointed it, that you it, find it. out. So now I never want to know no. how tricks are done. It's always once, once you've, you know how it's done, the mag magic's gone, well, isn't exactly. it? It's like, oh, exactly. It's never going to be the same again. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. I, was, I was really, so, really disappointed. What he yeah. did, he, he turned a 20 pound or a $20 bill into a $10 bill or okay. $1 bill or something like that. Lovely, yeah. And it just, when they're doing it this close, yeah. It's just amazing. It, it's just we were everybody was there, and you just—he's not doing any. How <laughs> how can that happen? And I love right that. Right there, and it's not on on a screen or anything. It's live, isn't it? It's like yeah. To see it live yeah. is something else. So let's let's go back to the balloons. Yep. I mean, I, I do yep. love magic, and I could talk to you about magic for a, a long time. Um, but let's talk about the balloons. So they they sort of started off as a, a side thing. Yes. They effectively still are a kind yeah, of yeah. side thing. But you you have become known for doing some very creative stuff. Um, but this that we'll be doing later on, this is all about adding value, isn't it? Yes, so absolutely. So you, you were thinking really, how can people add value? Something we've talked about mm. before on BMTV. How can they add value? And how do you add value to what you do? Well, um, I always think, I mean, I don't do much in the way of decor mm -hmm. or anything, but how, when I do, I always think it's the little touches like flowers yeah. which make something that extra 
extra special. Yeah. Um, rather than just having a plain column or a plain arch, it, it's, it's adding the, the little details, which I think uh, they may be small, but it's, it's the little details which I, I think do add, add the value. And yeah. you know, uh, it, it gives you a, a, another, an, another something. You know, it's, a, it's, it's just an extra, extra piece to... You, was, you were saying earlier on, actually, about the dinosaur. Yesterday, yeah. you were, as you do, creating things um, when you were at the training. Yeah. And there was a dinosaur. Yep. And I commented on that earlier. And you said, that's just a really basic yeah, thing. Yeah. But as soon as you add one detail, yeah. the teeth. It changes completely. It yeah. changes completely. Yeah, yeah. quite a lot of the, my designs I do is I'll start off with a basic. And I, I, I can offer, there's a line I do. And it's, I can either give them a basic line or I add in a few more balloons and it's got a big mane and it's something else. And then I add something else. And it, it's like three stages, it's yeah. the basic stage. Then you've got a, oh, that's quite a good stage. Then you've got the wow stage. It's, you know, yeah. it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's always a lion or it's always a dinosaur, but by adding the little details, it just ups it. And so, ups it you know. so when you're at a gig, do you change what level of lion you do depending Sometimes. on the length of the yeah. queue or yeah, something yeah. like so that. If I've got a long queue then I'll, I'll go into quick mode yeah, yeah. and then, then I will, I will, I will, I will um, storm through them but uh, I'm not keen on that. I, I do like to, to go mad with it. Sometimes, you like to yeah. add value. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. 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 So uh, I do want to ask you about the whole bow tie balloon guy yep. and how you got that name and tell us a little yeah, bit yeah. about your bow ties. So, I've, I've always liked bow ties. Uh, I've, I've, I've always liked the idea of wearing them, but I, I, I never really did. And uh, I was driving along one day with a friend of mine, um, and he just suddenly said, we were talking about bow ties and fashion generally, and he said, do you know what would be good? It's the bow tie balloon guy. He just came out with it. I'm like, that's really good. It rhymes, bow tie balloon guy, you know, it's, it's, it's good. And, it's, and that was it, basically. And, uh, and uh, I, I actually make all my own bow ties, so oh, I, I went home and made a few, and and started to put put it in there, and just thought, you know, it's a, it's a. I, I, I was at an event once, and I was performing magic mm. at a, a wedding, and there were three or four magicians, mm. and I heard someone say, "Oh, we saw an, another magician." I said, "Oh, who was it?" I said, "Well, it, he he was he was a magician." I said, "Yeah, but what do you look like?" Well, he wore a suit, and it was like <laughs> I, I don't know who it was. You know, and it was one of the other three. And, and I was talking to my friend Clint about the bow tie thing, and he said, if you had a, a something, someone said, oh, he, he was the one with the bow tie, or he was the one with the glasses, or he was the one with the hat. Yeah. Something that differentiates you from other people. Yeah, yeah. It gives you a, um, an extra step that makes... You know, it's almost like a USP. It's, exactly, it's yeah. a, Not, not yeah. a selling proposition, but no. a, a, something that people recognise yeah. you from. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah. from a business point of view, it's like, oh, yeah. It's yeah. the guy with the bow tie. It's the guy with the bow yeah. tie, yeah. And if, and if anywhere you type in bow tie balloon, yeah. you'll get me, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so so you, you only did it not for that reason, just because you like bow ties. I like bow ties, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's yeah. ended yeah, up yeah. being quite good from absolutely, a business yeah. point of view. Yeah. So you've got Snoopy on today. I've got Snoopy on today. I've, I've got about 50 at yeah. home I've made. 50, so really? 50, yeah. Oh, brilliant. So... So I'm always making new ones. Either I've got an event coming up, Halloween, and I'll make a make one to suit. You know, pump, oh, I've got right, a pumpkin okay. one ready to go at the moment. So, so okay. yeah, yeah. I, I want to talk to you a little bit more about business because you told me something earlier on that really surprised me. Yes. And you said you are very different to everybody I, else. I in, think I'm very in different. The yeah. industry, and I was really impressed at what you told me. Okay. Do you want to explain so, that to everybody? Yes. Uh, I work completely through an agent. Mm -hmm. All my work comes through an agent. I rarely do work direct with the, the, the customer. Yeah. Uh, when booking me, customers have to go to my agent and then they give me work. So if somebody comes to you and say, can I book you direct? Yeah, you... I'll give them my card. Yeah. And it's got all my, my agent's details on. Yes, okay. this is how you book me. Yeah. Uh, I don't book direct. And I, I, I thought that was really impressive because yeah. you were talking about people phoning up and inquiries yeah. that you that never become yeah. uh, bookings. So uh, I, I did go through a stage at one point, although I've had my agent for 20 odd years, I did go through a stage of, of getting my own work. Mm -hmm. And you spend hours on the phone talking to customers and then nothing happens with it. Mm -hmm. it's, oh, that's a waste of time. Or you get that customer and nothing wrong with this, but they, they phone up and they're excellent, all booked. Then they phone up and they want to know what you're doing here. And then they phone up and something's changed. It's like, you know, it, it's, all, it's all important stuff. Yeah. But it's like, oh, it is. I could be doing something else. Yeah, and uh, and so I I took the decision many years ago to to uh, 
using an agent and that was it basically it's it's yeah. it's been like that ever since so you've got a good relationship with your absolutely, agents yep. you pay your agent a commission yep. but in your mind that is absolutely oh, worth absolutely. every single yep. penny absolutely and yeah. i think i think that's a really interesting way to yeah. think of business because quite often yeah. a lot of when we start in business you've, you've got to do everything because there's nobody else to do that but if you can offload some of what you do and what mm. you're saying is you, you're still representing your brand you're still you you've still got the yeah. bow tie yeah. they still remember the person yeah. that does the party i'm still me yeah but yeah. you've effectively got somebody that takes all the stuff that you don't necessarily Absolutely. want yeah. to do and all the stuff that doesn't turn into yeah. anything yeah. and i just thought that was a really yeah. interesting way of it's uh, also of quite good it. because if, if, if I'm not available, then th there's someone else who can do the show for me. Or if one of the other entertainers is not available, then I might get it. So yeah. it, it helps, you know, um, yeah. we, we do swap, swap, uh, we do share, share work, you know, so. Um, I, thought, I just thought it, it, yeah. it was really interesting. And we obviously have a lot of people, that are decorators mm. that, that watch. And I, I just don't know, is there something for, you know, do decorators ever have agents and things I like that? I, I, I don't know either. And I, I thought that might yeah. be, imagine if you didn't have to deal with, because there are a lot of inquiries that people get and then they say, I'm not going to pay that much. And yeah. if you could get rid of all that and you just get the, 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 the good work stuff, coming, yeah. the work coming in. A piece of paper that says, I want this made on this date. Done. I mean, that's, I just thought, yeah, <laughs> I, great, I, I, yeah. I thought it was really interesting, not something I'd ever heard yeah. of before, and I, I just wonder where people can go with that. But mm. I think outsourcing of, of anything that gives you time to, to work on mm. your skill and do more work. I think it, what, uh, the practicing is really important. Yeah. And the playing with new designs with the balloons, and, and it, the, I think the, the practicing is one of the most important things ever. Yeah. And just pl playing with ideas, and if you're spending all your time on a phone to a customer, you're losing that. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. A, so yeah. It's yeah. No, I, th I thought it was really interesting. Anyway, I could talk to you all day, Rob, but yep. I, I think we should we should show people a little bit okay. about this. So, are we going to make make one of these? We're going to make a flower. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you how to make a flower, and then we'll we'll uh, we'll put it into a little bouquet. Okay. That's let's, right. do, let's do that. Excellent. So, we've got our our balloons here. Look, you don't even need lots of space no, to no, put it's all. Good yeah. stuff, isn't it? Uh, so we've got. Uh, the ones I'm using at the moment are, we've got a yellow 260. Yeah. Uh, we're going to make the actual flower petals uh, out of a, a blue, a dark blue. Uh, there's a, an orange 160, which I'm going to use mm -hmm. for the bow, and then the green is for the stem. Okay. So we'll put the, the bow to one side for a minute, and we're going to make um, the, the, the flower petals. Now, I'm very fussy about my flowers. Okay. Uh, I, I've got a thing about that flowers should always be in odd numbers to start with. Uh, so one three five seven and the same with the petals yeah so i always make my flowers with either five petals or seven petals is that the way they are in nature it's not okay you do get six petal flowers however most of the time they've got odd numbers oh, interesting. and florists will always give you flowers in odd numbers mm. uh, it, i've got a I've, I've got a feeling that in russia it's unlucky to give flowers to anybody in an even number is it really it's something to do with it means death i think so it's well, a, it's yeah, a, it's don't a, want to do that then, exactly. Yeah. It's, a, it's a funeral thing. Yeah. So, um, okay. so I always do petals and the flowers in odd numbers. Uh, so uh, we're going to make a seven petal okay. flower. Uh, well, we don't have a pump. Sorry. No, I've, I've, I've got one here. Oh, you've got one. If that's all right. Wow. This, that's, is, this is my pump. That, that's a pump. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't sell those. No, no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one. Well, it's, it's almost one of a kind. It's not. It's, but it's huge. It is. Uh, this, this is my lifesaver. This this pump is. This is this changed my life. So I'm guessing that's just one pump to fill whatever balloon you yes. like. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I can use it for sizing as well, which I'll I'll go through another okay. time. Uh, but um, this is this, this has been my lifesaver. This this has. How long have you had that? I'm guessing about ten years. So well, it's it's not too bad. Well, you're you getting know? your money's worth. Of yeah, it, yeah. 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 But I, I yeah. I don't think you can get them anymore. That's a sad thing. Yeah. It's yeah. Shame, really. But, um, so I'm going to inflate my balloon up to about there. Uh, yeah. I've got a decent length on the end there. Mm -hmm. uh, let's move that out of the way. Now then, with these uh, petals, uh, I, I see quite a lot of people will make uh, flowers in a certain way and you end up with four petals. Mm -hmm. um, I like to do my petals individually. Okay. Um, I find you get a more accurate group of petals, they all end up the same, the same, okay. the same size. Uh, what I do is I'll start with a loop like this. I'm going to make uh, all the petals the same. So I've made it a small loop here mm -hmm. and uh, twist that a few times. With the end here, I'm going to 
push that through the middle there, that just stops it coming undone. So, as you can see, uh, what I'm doing is I'm laying the balloon over the top of the bubble I've just, the loop I've just made. Yeah. And I'm trying to make it the same. When I've, you've got about the same size there, I'm going to twist it off. Twist it around. You end up with roughly the same petals. So let's let's talk about that accuracy there because these all look very accurate. Yeah. So you'd say that's that's very it's really important to get your petals the same size. Okay. Um, and it comes with practice. Yeah. The more you practice, the the the, the better you'll get. Uh, and I think I always measure off the off the same petal yeah. here. Uh, it's a bit like Chinese whispers, where if you if you measure off the next petal along, I see what you mean, it'll get yeah. bigger and bigger, bigger, or smaller and smaller. Yeah, smaller. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, I always try and measure off the same petal there. Yeah. Twist it round, and as you can see, it's it's growing. Yeah. Yeah. So there's my first petal there. It half the time it's remembering which was your first petal. Yeah. So I always try and keep that one in my hand I see, yeah, at the okay. bottom there. So there it is again. See what you mean? Yeah, that'd be quite, yeah. quite easy to lose track of where yeah. it is. Uh, I try and keep that one in my fingers there, just so I can keep going. It does get a bit more tricky the more petals you've got. Yeah. So you're just twisting the end. Yes. Through. So each so time you do each that. Each time I do it, I, I pull it down and then I twist it around here, and then I basically make the balloon do the work for me. I'll push it in with a thumb, and then by rotating this, I see, okay. it'll find its way around yeah. other petals. Okay, that makes sense. So you're kind so of there's no set way that you would do that. No, you no, just, it just, just it just okay. happens um, by rotating that. It will find its way around somewhere. You yeah. can guide it. Yeah. Uh, I think I've got seven seven petals there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Okay. We've got a bit of bit of a extra balloon here, which we're going to get rid of, and. Uh, you can either cut it and yeah. go down. Uh, there is a, a way of popping it. What did you do there? Sorry, that so, was... I can show you that in a minute if you like. Okay. I'll do that with another balloon. I spend quite a lot of time evening my balloons out. So, making sure they're all straight. And all I'm doing here is to just, as you can see, just positioning and getting them more straight. Yeah. Making sure they're all nice and yeah. level, like that. So they say the devil's in the detail. So it is, if, you, yeah, if absolutely, you spend yeah. time doing that, you're yeah. going to get a better I, product I, at the end I of it. I think the, the more you, the time you just do spend on it, then the, the better it looks. But yeah. then, then the more you do it, the faster you'll get. Yeah. So it's, it's a, it is one of those things. So somebody watching this trying to do that now, they're probably not going to inflate their first 260 and be able to do that as no. well as that. So no, they're no. going to have to practice, it is practice get yeah. a bag of 260s, go through all 100, yeah, 100 of them. Of them yeah. and, you Buy know. more balloons from you yeah. and keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's a very good, good thing to just sit there and do. Yeah. Why are you watching Neighbours or whatever it is? Yeah. 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 Neighbours? Uh, uh, yeah. Is that still you on? still watch Neighbours? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first program that came to my head. Uh, I think I used to watch that when I was yeah. about 14, many, oh, yeah. many moons ago. Yeah. Now, we're going to make the, the, the centre uh, here, okay. and you don't need that much balloon. Uh, I often make several centres out of one balloon. So, mm -hmm. uh, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small bubble like this. It's, yeah. a, it's a little bit longer than it is wider, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the, the knotty end, and I'm going to twist that down into here. Mm -hmm. You can take the end here, and you can actually just about fit it underneath the um, the loop where it's yeah. made the, the loop there, just to tie it into a knot. And if you want, you can tie it into another knot, so it ends up as a bubble. Okay. Now, going back to the popping of the balloon. Yeah. It's basically clicking your fingers. Oh, okay. I can't so, do that. Yeah, well, yeah. No, I've, well, nor I've, can I. I've never, never been able to do it. I have to do it with my little finger. Um, you're pushing your finger and your thumb together, yeah, quite strong, uh, quite forcefully, and then by when you've pushed your fingers together, so it's not your nails. It's not my nails. No, it's it's your friction. finger. It, what you're doing is the, all the minuscule holes in the latex. You're making them bigger. Okay. And when you get to a certain point where air can get through those holes, yeah, it'll pop. Okay. Like that. That's so easy. So yeah, it's uh, it, it's it, it's one of those things that you have to do. 
and you'll be thinking, I can't do it. And then the moment you do it, ah, oh, yeah. that's it. And then yeah. you can do it. So do you do it first time every time? Uh, it... Usually, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Once, once you know how to do it, you, you can do it. Yeah. It's one of those things okay. which, is, which is, yeah, you, you learn and it's, it happens. So I've got my, my bits of balloon on the end there. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take those. I, I usually hold it. Oh, that's unlucky now. Uh, look at that. It's a six petal flower. Yeah. Let's do it anyway. Carry on. Yeah, okay. Uh, I've, I'm, I'll place it on my hand. I just say it's burst, yeah. but it's, it's not still, affected it at all. Still, no, the, 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 I, when, when I do seven petal, and if one does burst, it's, it's not a big issue. Um, I have had occasionally where one's slowly gone down. I thought, yeah. oh, get rid of it. Yeah. If you've got a five petal flower or a four petal flower, it looks odd. Yeah. With, yeah. With, with, with less petals. Yeah. It, uh, it, uh, uh, at least with the seven, you can get away with losing one yeah. or two. Yeah, you know, and it still, look okay. and it still looks okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm placing my in my palm here. I'm going to push down with my thumb and then pull that around. Simple. And that's our flower. Very good. Great. Now then, the back of the flower. I'll show you what I've done here. It, it's a. Uh, I always do this three loop, uh, uh, like design here. Yeah. Um, it helps position the flower. Okay. So uh, stay there. I'll, I'll show you why it helps position it. You can do a few different things with it. Uh, all we're doing is we're going to make three small petals. Mm -hmm. Exactly the same as what you did before. There's one. Uh, it's a, with a smaller balloon, it's a little bit easier to get them the same size. Yeah. There's two. There's three. If, with this back bit, if they're a little bit different, it's not a problem. Um, what I usually do is when I've got it here, if there's one that's a bit bigger, then I'll move that one to the top. Yeah. Uh, but it's not it's not too much of an issue. We're going to go same as we did with the with the uh, the front there. I'm going to push it with my thumb, and I'm going to wrap the one sixty around like that, that's and then simple. that. Has got our flower. It sits nicely vertically, or you can ah, move it right. like that. Okay. So you've got two options. So if you're making a big bouquet, I usually have them put up like that. Yeah. And that, uh, then you can have lots, lots next to each other. If I'm making just a single flower, then you can have it like cool. that. Cool. Cool. And it's just by moving that from one position to another. Yeah. It gives That's you. A, so good. It gives you a nice. Yeah, gives you options. There'll be options. Oh, yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, so that's quite handy. So we've got our flower made, uh, and now we're going to put them together in a small bouquet. Okay. Uh, here's some I made earlier, which. So we've got our, our flowers. Uh, uh, I'm just going to uh, put these together so that I can estimate where where these go. Actually, at this point, I might just position them in a way so that I can see how the how they fit together. So. Uh, I usually have two lower ones and then one up yep. uh, high. Uh, sometimes I may position them so they are a bit, bit yep. like that. Let's do like that, shall we? And then I'm going to see which, uh, try and get my ends uh, all even here. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go with the shortest version there. And I'm going to get rid of uh, the other way to get rid of your ends is to just chop that off. Like that. Get rid of your end there. So that was the same as that one. And then this one comes in here. Uh, up there, wasn't it? So I'm just going to get rid of shorten that one a bit. So they're all now roughly the same length. Like that. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Now then, we're going to make the uh, the bow now. Let's get rid of that there. Now it's the, great the way it just stands up. Yeah, it's, it takes a little bit of um, manipulation, manipulation, but uh, it, it will stand up. Okay. If you get all your all your your ends the right length. So the bow now, I usually try and get rid of my knots at the end of of the uh, the balloon there. Yeah. Uh, make it less noticeable. Uh, we're going to make the, the tail of the ribbon first, which is a small bubble like this. Mm -hmm. And then 
the middle of the, the bow is going to be a pinch twist. Yeah. And to make that pinch twist, we're just going to put the balloons like this, your thumb on top of that bubble, finger underneath, twist it around. Yeah. Pinch twist like that. Okay. Okay. We've got two two bows, so or, or two loops, I should say. Yeah. There's loop number one. Get this the same size, same way as you did the flowers. I'm measuring it against the one underneath there. Look. Mm -hmm. And uh, twisting it around. And that's the start of our of our bow there. Yeah. Okay. We're now going to wrap it around th the three balloons. So I'm going to put these together, the three flowers. So they're together as a three there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold that the whole thing in my hand here. Yeah. Run this around so it meets the uh, the pinch twist at the front there. Yeah. Give it a twist. And then, again, as you see, I'm letting the balloon yeah. door work. So clever. Wrap it around there a few times. You can even go around the whole thing a little bit if you want. Yeah. And now we're going to make the other side the same size as that bow. You can you can get it yeah. uh, like that. I'm just going to chop that off. Get rid of that. Tie that in a knot. And then get rid of the end there. And there you have your flower. All I'm going to do now is just position these so that they sit nicely. If you um, if you want it to stand up, you, you just give these a bit of a, a push outwards. Yeah. And uh, you get like a like a tripod type effect. And uh, perfect. There you have your. Flowers. So when you consider the cost of that, there's how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, six. No, that was, that was all one balloon. Would you yeah. have used one balloon? Yeah, I'll use one balloon for the yellow. Yeah. Uh, so there's one balloon for the yellow, two, three, four for the petals, uh, one for that, five. You could probably get the stems out of two stems out of one balloon. So that's six, seven, seven balloons. Allow for a burst, eight or nine balloons, ma yeah. maximum yeah. ten balloons. Yeah. yeah. And, and the you've cost got a lovely little display pence, there. Pence exactly. each. Yeah. And it's air filled. Absolutely. So you don't have to worry about helium. Stands up most of the time. <laughs> like you say, you've just got a minute. Yeah. But it that's is, yeah. what a great way of adding value. That, that's fantastic. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, I mean, you could upscale it. So you could, uh, instead of using two 60s, you could make a 350 flower. Yeah. Uh, you'd have a 350 center. 260s on yeah. the the back and a 260 bow. Yeah, and you've got yeah. A, a gigantic. And there's nothing stopping you putting more flowers in. Yeah, yeah. You just, just go keep mad with going. it. You keep yeah. going. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's a really good example of how to. Add. We, we, I think maybe what we need to do is show people how to add flowers in another show. Yeah. So to that's other fine. things. Yes. But I think that's adding value to to things that people yeah. might already do. But Rob, as a guest. I forgot to warn you about this because I forget to warn everybody, okay. <laughs> but there is a question of the week that you right. can ask the BMTV nation. A question of the week. So what, what would you like to know? Oh, and we'll, people will hopefully leave their comments down below on Facebook yeah. and on YouTube. So what would you like to ask everybody? It doesn't have to be balloon related. It can be wow. whatever you like. OK. Uh, let's think. Now then, I, I get asked when I'm doing making lots of, lots of uh, balloons in a, a line work, uh, I, the three animals I get asked for most are uh, unicorns, mm -hmm. uh, butterflies, yeah. and dogs. Okay. Okay. Out of those three, which is the one which I is, you think is most pop most popular? Oh, okay. Uh, Interesting. I've got one in my mind. Yeah. Which I get asked for more than anything else. Okay. Th out of those three, which one do they think? will be the most asked for. So what? So this is a little bit of a quizzy type thing. Actually. Yeah, this is a yeah, I've yeah. not done this before. No, no, okay, okay, okay. So okay. Well, there is an answer. U what? Unicorn, butterfly, dog. Unicorn, butterfly or dog. What does Rob get asked for more than anything else? Leave your comments down below I'd on I'd be Facebook interesting to know the YouTube. answer, actually. Oh, you'll be able yeah, to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. that'd be good. Anyway, Rob, thanks very much for, yeah. for coming in. And thank you all out there for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And hopefully, see you next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>